Hey, this is the Hydro Cultivator here from thehydrocultivator.com and the Hydro Cultivator YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Aero Gardens. Uh, before me we have two of the newer models of Aero Gardens. On the left we have the Aero Garden Extra and over here we have the Aero Garden Ultra LED. Now as far as the difference between the two, uh, they both seem to be pretty good little uh, machines. The one on the left, of course, uses the compact fluorescent light bulbs, which is probably the main disadvantage between the two units. Uh, they recommend that you change the bulbs every six months, and so that's a cost that can add up. Whereas the LED model, I believe they say the light is good for anywhere from three to five years. Uh, so you should see some savings over that time. The other main difference between the units is the diagnostic panel. The Extra has fewer options than the Ultra, uh, but it does have more options than some of the earlier models of Aero Gardens. You can select what type of plant you're growing, which determines the lighting, and you also can select uh, how the water is pumped, whether it's germination mode or high growth mode. Uh, it'll pump more or less water depending on what you choose. Okay, as far as how these two units work, both the Aero Garden Ultra LED and the Extra function in the same manner. They both have a pump that pumps the water up to the top of the lid and then out through this little channel onto the grow sponge. And that gets everything wet and moist and grows really well. Uh, the dripping of that also uh, falls into the nutrient solution and oxygenates it a little bit. So you get a little bit of aeroponic going on as well. Uh, but it's really a very simple system. And so far, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, the Ultra is pretty nice with the newer diagnostic panel. You can actually set specifically what time you want the light to turn on and off. Uh, whereas with the Extra, as opposed to the Ultra, you, uh, you have to unplug the unit and then plug it back in at the time that you want the light to turn on, which can be kind of annoying. A nice upgrade that they did on the LED Ultra is they made it, the light appear white. They added some white LEDs. Uh, some of the earlier models it had a somewhat eerie purplish glow to the light that might have turned some people off to the LED lighting. Um, we have the herb seed pack growing right now and some of them have sprouted so they obviously like the light that it puts out. So between the two, if you had to pick one, I would recommend the Ultra. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive but you're going to see savings over time. Not only in electricity but those light bulbs for the extra start to add up over time, uh, whereas the LED is going to last a lot longer, it's going to use less power, and the uh, diagnostic screen is a significant upgrade from the extra. Uh, it's really a nice feature to be able to set the light to turn on when you want it to turn on, instead of waking up early in the morning and unplugging it and plugging it back in just to get it to set the timer on it. Uh, so this is the one I'd recommend of the two, but they're both good good machines for the money, uh, especially if you're just starting out into hydroponics, you want to get into water gardening, you don't know where to start with all the, the meters and the pH testing, I and mean, this makes it really easy, really turnkey, you just plop your little uh, grow sponges into the unit, add the fertilizer that they give you with each seed pack, and the unit itself tells you when to add nutrients and when to do whatever you need to do. Uh, it's very automated, very easy, uh, perfect for the beginner. I'm also going to talk about the lowest end model of Aero Gardens, the Aero Garden 3 unit. I have an Aero Garden 3 that I'm going to show here in a little bit. And those are an interesting unit because they're such a cheap and inexpensive way to get into hydroponics. Right here we have the Aero Garden 3. AeroGarden model. It's the lowest end model that AeroGarden makes. Uh, you can get them fairly inexpensively. 
they use the same compact fluorescent bulb that some of the other units use. They have space for three seed pods, and they use the actual three seed pod kits that Air Garden makes, unless you buy the, uh, the kit to grow whatever you want. Right now we've got lettuce growing in it, and I took one of them out uh, just so I'd have it be the same as some of the other units I have growing. It's got a little handy dandy hatch here for adding water. You just open that up, pour your water in, add your nutrients. Each seed kit comes with nutrients. So in line with other Aero Garden products, they make it really easy, really simple. Uh, the height is of course adjustable. And if you want to turn the light on or off, that's pretty much your only button. Uh, it does have indicator lights telling you when to replace a bulb or when to add nutrients. Uh, but it is, it's pretty basic, but it's good for growing salad like I'm doing. And also uh, the basic herbs as well do well in this. It's a really good unit for just a small area of your home. You don't have a lot of room. You want to grow something. You want some herbs for your kitchen or whatever you want to cook. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good, uh, inexpensive way to have fresh herbs uh, grown hydroponically. So overall, I would recommend this unit to anyone who wants to get into hydroponics, doesn't know what they're doing, wants something easy, and they don't want to spend a lot of money. This is the unit to go with.